Hi guys, welcome to the 36th video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So we have finished array, string, matrix, and now we are doing a searching and sorting. If you have not yet watched any video or you want all the videos in one place, I have made a playlist and I'll put the link of the playlist in the description. Also this questions link you will find in the description and whatever solutions I will be submitting that also you will find the code. I suggest you do this by, side by side. Uh, and if you don't understand something, uh, please go refer to some online resource. So I expect you to have a background of every question. So let's get started with today's problems. So the first problem is, uh, actually this problem inversion of array, we have already done this problem, count number of inversions. So inversion is nothing but if there are two elements A of I and A of J, for every I less than J, we have to tell how many A of I greater than A of J. We have done this problem if we go back, see in array only, I think in arrays we have done. Uh, it is somewhere here. Yeah, count inversion in array, I think I have done it, yeah. So I think in the third or fourth video of this series, you will find this. It is the same thing. So what is the this thing, algorithm for this? Algorithm for this will be merge sort. So, so merge sort will be the algorithm. And you will have to use this to solve this problem. So because they're expecting n log n and o of n space solution, we will use merge sort. I have already explained in that video why we need merge sort. So please check that video. And merge sort is anyway very important. You need to learn this. So please do learn it. So I think today's first problem is already done. And actually if you click on this link, right? Like if you go here and click on this, missing number in AP, if you click on that, you are directed to some other page. You are directed to some other problem which we have already done. So the actual link for this question is this. Sorry, this. Find the missing number in arithmetic progression. This is the actual question that was supposed to be there, not this one. So in this problem, we will be given an array, okay? And in this array, we have to find the missing term in AP. So how they have solved this problem is like, uh, first of all, in a arithmetic progression, what do you read? You need what? You need two things, right? So in an AP, you need the first term and you need a common difference. So as they've given an array, you will pretty much know the first term. Like even if the first term is wrong, you will know something, right? You'll know the element, the first element will be there. But how to find common difference? To find common difference, they have used a formula. Common difference will be A of N minus one minus A of zero divided by A of N. So they have used this formula to find out the common difference. So first term is the first term of the this thing. They have assumed that this is the first term, okay? And common difference, they have taken it like this. Now how to solve this problem? What is the concept? Concept will be to use binary search. How to use binary search? First of all, why we are using binary search? because arithmetic progression is sorted in ascending order. So when it's sorted, we have a range, right? We have a range. And to find missing, to find missing, what do we do? We use binary search. 
So how will we implement binary search here? So to implement binary search, first of all, let us say int missing, okay? And we need to take the parameters. And this is the common difference. This difference. So how to start binary search? So first of all, we should take low as zero, high as n minus one. And let us just say if h is less than or equal to l, we return minus one. It's not even an AP, okay? Then what do we do? We'll say while l less than or equal to h, we have to find mid now. This is a standard binary search code. Nothing great here. After we have found mid, what do we do? So what is the basic binary search thing? In a binary search, what do we do? We find mid. Okay, next step is some condition. Some condition. Next is go left, go right. This is a standard way, right? This is a standard way of doing binary search. Find the mid. First of all, you need to know the range. Before all this, know the range, okay? What is the space, the search space? Find mid. There will be a condition according to the problem statement. According to that, go left to search in the left part or right to search in the right part. Now, what is that condition? What will that condition be in this case? So that condition will be to check if it is a term in the AP or not. So if A of mid, so if A of mid plus one minus A of mid is not equal to difference, that means we have to return A of mid plus difference because this will be the missing term. Otherwise there is one more condition. If mid is greater than zero and A of mid minus a of mid minus one is not equal to difference. Then we return a of mid minus one plus difference. Otherwise, if these two conditions are true, if these two conditions are true, then all the elements so far are in AP. We have to check. We have to check this. So how to check that? If A of mid is equal to A of zero plus difference into mid. I think I am correct here. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. So we have to check on the right side. Otherwise, we have to check on the left side. Because if this condition is true, all the elements from the starting are in AP. So we have to check on right side for answer. Otherwise, the answer will be on the left side. What is this condition? How do you write nth term of AP? And that term of AP is, is written like this, right? So nth term of AP is what? What is the nth term of AP? A plus n minus one into D. So over here it will become A of zero plus mid into D difference. Because it is zero based indexing, it is what? It is zero based indexing. Because it is zero based indexing, we can write the formula like this. So I have used AP formula only to check if all the elements till now are in AP or not. Then what do we do? 
what do we return there is nothing else to return because it will complete the loop like this and if there is an answer it will return this so this is how you find the missing term in an arithmetic progression okay so i hope this was clear please try this code and tell me if i'm wrong somewhere please tell me in the comments if i'm wrong i hope you are doing it with me side by side so it is a simple binary search problem now is there any other question uh tomorrow i will be doing job scheduling algorithm so this job scheduling algorithm this is weighted job scheduling for tomorrow i will suggest first learn only job scheduling forget weighted just learn the problem job scheduling then weighted job scheduling becomes much more easier so tomorrow we will do this and we will do aggressive cows problem for today i think that's all so please like the video if you understood the solution please share it with all your friends ask them to support me and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me and uh, thank you for supporting so far and uh, take care and please do this problem okay inversion of array i have done it in the previous videos in the fourth or fifth video of this series please check that out so thank you for watching till now take care stay tuned bye